All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your favorite host, James, and uh, today let's continue our journey to learn tensor art. Let's go. So in this episode, I'm gonna recommend many AI models in tensor art, and I'm thinking maybe I should recommend new AI models uh, once in a while. So maybe this is the start of our new month and I hope you like today's episode. If you have any feedback on today's Tensor uh, tutorial, please let me know. Okay, let's go. So this is the homepage of the Tensor. Remember the domain Tensor.art. And just in case you're new here, so Tensor is an AI platform that don't need to uh, deploy any environment to your computer. All you need to do is open browser and type the domain open here. For example, like uh, click the create image and let's type and you can click here to select one of the AI models and they are all new models and all you need to do is to select one of the AI models and um, then select one of the aspirations that you want for example like landscape or portrait maybe portrait this time and if you want your work to be uh, enhanced the upscale you can click here allow upscale and change to two times and also have a layer diffusion, but we don't need it for now. If you want to add more detail, you can click here, like this magical wand. And if your first language is not English, you can click here to translate your prompt into English. Well, basically it's very convenient. And here you can change the amount of the image. I'm uh, currently select uh, four images and we can click the create. If I only generate one image, it will be less. If uh, I want to generate four, it will be increased. So click the generate. All right, we have our results generated. And um, which one is your favorite? And you can click here and uh, switch. Wow, so nice. So next time, if you want to use the same model, same uh, parameters, you can directly click here and click remix and all the parameters will be there and uh, select the correct uh, model and also keep your prompts. So Tensor is very easy to learn and very easy to use. And not only have this uh, create image, but we can create a video and also we can use a comfy flow. See, you can click here, add a workflow and you can find one of the flow or create by your own. But for AI newcomers, you can directly click here, use the existing workflow. You can directly use or modify it by switching the lines. So no need to deploy stable diffusion or comfy UI, but on Tensor, you can have it all. So this is basically how you use Tensor. All right, let's introduce the new model of the Tensor. Ah. Year after years, I've been searching for a way to create a realistic style so that people can believe the AI images are real. And finally, I found some models can do so. So let me introduce to you. So the model I use is a semi-realistic V1. And also I added three different LoRa models. So the first is a photo real and the impact is a 0.5 and also add more detail. And last one is the Hamabi Laura model, also 0.5. And I just type a prompt to test a girl smiling in the Hong Kong street. And also I select the upscale. Let's generate two images and click the generate. Let's check it out. This is a girl in the Hong Kong street and smile, super nice. And you can see the Hong Kong streets. It's really realistic style, right? How do you like my combo with the Laura model? Okay, I have another. So this time I use Flux as a base model and add a Laura model called Almost Real. And also 0.5 added. And let's select one of the aspiration. And for the and for the prompt, I type a super pretty girl in New York, black hair dancing, and choose a number of two images. Let's go. Well, can you believe this girl is a generated one? And uh, also we have this one. So this style is really amazing because this Laura model as a name, almost real, can help us to generate a real person and change the image amount to four and change to landscape. And uh, all right, let's check out the results. Wow, man. This is actually generated, not a real photo. Okay. Leave that. If I upload this to Instagram, guess how many likes I will get? 
Okay, so this is another combo I recommend, and let's go to the next one. So for the next one, we have a Chinese character Mei Zhu Chaoran, and also almost real as a combo. Let's see if uh, let's see what kind of the result we can get in order to compare two different combos of the AI models. Let's try to use the same prompts. Okay, let's click the generate. All right, we have our results, and I think the result is quite amazing. We have uh, four different images as we generated, and some of them are particularly strange, but I think the first one is uh, good enough. Which one is your favorite? And uh, let's go to the next one. So the next model is Animate Style, and I gave a prompt, a girl working in a cyberpunk city, white hair. And here is the trigger words like the masterpiece, best quality, amazing quality to improve the quality. And um, let's go, let's see the result. All right, we have our result, let's check it out. Well, check it out the atmosphere uh, of uh, this image. And also we have the correct uh, text. It's really amazing, right? So we can make it animate and make it into uh, animation. And next one I want to recommend is a Magic Mix Realistic. We see one, and uh, let's try it out. Well, let's check it out. Wow, this is so cool. Which is your favorite? I, I think I like this one. So also save image. Sometimes we only have a static image that we want to convert to animated one. So let me recommend a image to video model. So first you need to click here, find the image to video, and use the WN two point one. And also add a live wallpaper plus. This is really cool. And this pours the first and end frame, but right now we don't need that. We only need one frame. Let's upload the image we just generated. And we can change the duration from three seconds to five seconds. And here we can type our prompt, but basically we already have an image. I don't want to affect the results, so let's put uh, Okay, let's click the generate. And here is our result. Let's check it out. Wow. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. So this WAN model is amazing. We can download from here and you can use this model to convert all the static images into amazing animated video. All right, guys, so much for today. I hope you like today's new AI models. And I will see you on the next Tensor tutorial. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Congratulations on watching to the end. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss out on more great contents. I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye.